I started this channel uh, a year or two ago based on what I was doing on NiceHash. It's the platform that allowed me to do some GPU mining while GPU mining was still profitable and available. But um, there's been some changes, obviously, in the landscape. And there is a new feature, well, new to me because I'm just now finding out about it, called Easy Mining. And what it is, it allows you to rent hash space off of available miners to try to earn a block reward. Let's see about how you do that right here on the Ujama Network. I'm Antoine Anderson. Let's talk about it. NiceHash will always have a place near and dear to my heart, very close, because it allowed me to earn some actual passive income with hardware, computer hardware, that I already had around the house. Put together a couple of small machines using some very inexpensive graphic cards at the time, and this was back in the 2015, 16 timeframe around there and i began making a couple of coins a day with this you know this basically junk um start putting a little more cash into it and gpu mining actually turned into an extra 100 or 200 dollars a month for me and that was the beginning of my journey with cryptocurrency mining but as time progressed um the earnings got a lot harder to make because the complexity of getting those rewards went way up with the introduction of ASIC miners. Now, unless you have one of those six to $25,000 miners, um, the odds of you earning a block reward are next to zero. Um, and even if you do have one, you're contending with pools of miners that are competing for those same block rewards whose payments have now been halved since the having now what that all means is that it got a lot more difficult to earn a block reward and the payouts are half as much as they were even last month that said there's still some ways to eke out profit and earn a share earn a share of a block reward by doing something on nice hash the platform that this all began with called easy mining or team mining we're going to explain the concept right now, but you're going to have to log in and up, uh, excuse me, log in and create an account on the nice hash platform. We might go over some of that in the future, but right now, if you don't have it, just follow along with us. From the nice hash homepage, what we're going to do is select the easy mining option just to check the opportunities that are out there. Um, you're going to purchase and fund your wallet according to the token of choice a lot of these opportunities are in different coins there's raven coin there's bitcoin cash as opposed to regular btc remember when you're transferring currencies from exchange or wallet to wallet make sure you are on the right blockchain that means no btc to bch bitcoin cash you mess around and lose your uh amount permanently make sure you're on the right chain get the right address now for our example we're going to fund our nice hash wallet with bitcoin cash and i'm going to show you how to do that here all right from the page we're going to select wallets and then select deposit And make sure you got the right currency. We're going for Bitcoin Cash here. And show the address. Then copy it. Remember, not all blockchains are created equal. The transfer times for Bitcoin Cash to Bitcoin Cash transfer is about two hours. When it comes to the faster exchanges, XRP, Ethereum, and uh, Bitcoin, yeah, the settlement times are a lot faster on those uh, those exchanges. But um, with Ethereum, you're paying ridiculous amounts of gas fees. And for little small transactions like this, that might not be the move for you. Actually, it's definitely not the move because it's so expensive. Bitcoin regular, BTC, well, there's some limits on nice hash of how much you can actually transfer from 
uh, your external wallets to the platform. Um, there's a $50 minimum that you need to be aware of. Also, there may be some hiccups in the way of actually funding the wallet. Make sure when you're funding your wallets, you're using the correct coin and the correct address. Do not want to lose your cash. For our example, we're going to go ahead and transfer some Bitcoin cash from our Coinbase wallet. And we're going to just go about $10 here. And we're sending Bitcoin cash. And then we're going to select a receipt where we're going to be uh, sending or where who's going to be receiving it. And that's the address we copied from Nice Hash. And then we're going to preview the send. You're going to get a confirmation screen and we're going to send it now. Keep in mind, as I was saying, estimated time for these kind of transactions is two hours. Be aware of that. And do your authentication. Now back on the easy mining uh, page there, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the options. You got your team mining and your single packages. Now obviously the single packages, they're gonna be ranging in prices from about six bucks. There are some uh, quite a bit higher, $64, $600 on this silver L package, $634. Let's look at the details for that. And what you're talking about here is a Bitcoin transaction, Bitcoin cash transaction. You're gonna commit $634 to it in the hopes of returning 1,400 should you hit that reward. And I say hit, cause this is almost like playing the lottery at this point. Um, you're buying a sixty, a $634 uh, lottery ticket, for lack of a better word. However, you're supporting the ecosystem. You're buying hash rate. Um, so you are actually earning a reward, reward or a share of a reward for work that is being done versus just gambling. And what you're getting in return is this probability of hitting of one in three. Now, I am not a great mathematician. That's pretty good odds. Be careful with this, obviously, because unlike mining where you're guaranteed a reward, when you're strictly putting in money just for the purpose of earning a block reward, um, with mining, you're getting a mining payment. Even though those mining payments have been halved again, it was consistent. This is so much more riskier. Um, there have been instances where the segment of time that you're releasing this hash rate, and that's gonna be denoted here in the corner for four hours. There have been instances where blocks have been resolved or solved twice or more in that hour, at least, at least twice. Um, but odds are, you know, one in three, no block solved um, you might be that uh, fourth person how about if there are two rewards in that segment of time it's an insane amount of probability um again we're gonna try this out for ourselves and see what it goes obviously for me for this demonstration i'm not going to commit 600 dollars to an if but it's just something out there for you to experiment with, play with, see if you like it. This is a how to, not what you should do. Now, my thoughts on this, obviously, if we're, if the goal is building generational wealth, you're not going to be that much into gambling. And that to me is you're playing the odds. It's not so much gambling as there are going to be some rewards earned, but are you going to be the one that gets them? You're not going to get them consistently, obviously but you are supporting the ecosystem. You are supporting the blockchain technology that puts these things together. Now, obviously, another strategy to be utilized here, you may not be able to afford a particular rig, those 6,000 to 25,000 rigs, $25,000 rigs. 
what if you were using a smaller, more affordable rig, and as you're earning mining rewards, you're converting those mining rewards into hash rate rentals. It's a, you're playing the odds. You're either going to lose your mining rewards or you're going to double them. Could be something to look at. I'm looking into it. I'm going to play around with it. I'm going to repost some of the successes or failures that we may come up with. But um, for right now, we're just going to commit maybe about six bucks for this first one and see what happens, what shakes loose. If it's something that um, we can pursue going forward using some of these possible block rewards to actually buy a much more powerful miner and have that running and that miner be the thing that purchases these six dollar commitments or six hundred dollar commitments what have you that might be something to do let me know what you think about that proposal i'd love to hear from you what your thoughts are maybe it's just a way to create passive income off the probability of earning a block reward i'm antoine anderson the drama network thank you for watching talk to you later